a everyday hair routine video. I'm just going to share with you what I do for my hair every day, what products that I use, and how I take care of it. So actually, I'm going to be dyeing my hair soon, so I really need to take care of it for now. And if you want, if you guys want to see a demo of how I color my hair using drugstore hair colors, please let me know in the comments below. So let's get started. First, I don't wash my hair every day because I know it's really damaging for me and plus I'm really lazy. So let's just say that this is my everyday hair routine when I do wash my hair and I do all of these um, stuff to it. So first is when I shower, I shampoo my hair first. So recently I've been using Herbal Essence Hello Hydration one. This one smells so good. It smells like coconut and flowers and it's, it's such a... It just makes your hair smell so nice. Also, I've been using this because my hair has been getting kind of dry. I've been using this because my hair has been getting kind of dry lately because before this, I was using the Herbal Essence Drama Clean one where it like fully cleans out your hair. I think it kind of stripped away too much oil. So I've been using this one to get all the moisture back and it's really been helping because I've been feeling a difference in my hair. It feels a lot softer and not as dry and crunchy. So I hope you guys give this a shot because I know that a lot of people use this because I've seen it in a lot of magazines for where they say this is the best hair shampoo for drugstore or something. So give this a try. It smells so good. And then next, after I shampoo my hair, I condition it. So I don't really use the conditioner from Herbal Essence from the same line. I don't know why, but I just use this one because my hair is dyed, is colored. So I just use the Pantene Color Preserve Volume. And this gives my hair a lot more volume because my hair is kind of flat since it's really heavy. So I really like this and I just squirt it a little bit on my palms, just about really around this much. And then I just work into my hands and then into the middle of my hair to the ends because you don't want to get conditioner in your roots and in the scalp because this is, it's just going to make it really, really oily later. So I just massage it in the ends of my hair. So I just massage it into the ends of my hair and I let it be in there for around five minutes just to give it like a leave-in conditioner or a mask type of feel. So it really moisturizes my hair. After I'm finished washing my hair, I go to dry it. So actually my mom doesn't really let me air dry it because she thinks that I'm going to get headaches. Especially in the winter time, I guess it's easier for me to get headaches because I usually wash my hair at night. So I need to fully blow dry it or probably around 75% of it. So for my heat protectant, I use the Tresemme Heat Tamer. And I'm pretty sure a lot of people use this too. It's a leave-in spray where I just spray it in the my hair and the ends especially the ends and then i just brush it through with my hands or my hairbrush and then i just blow dry it if i don't use this i'm probably going to use my got to be blow dry lotion and it's just like a little it feels like lotion and then i just rub it in my hands and then just put it all over my hair so after this all i do is just blow dry my hair and what i do is i flip my head around like this and then I blow dry it especially the back and my actual scalp to get it um, dry quicker and then this will actually help give it more volume if you blow dry your hair when your um, head is all flipped over and after that then I just um, stand right up and then just finish drying the ends on those days where I don't wash my hair and it's my roots are getting kind of oily I use dry shampoo so I recently I've been using this, the Suave Professional Stress Shampoo Spray, and it's actually worked pretty well. Like all I do is just lift up my hair and then I just spray it at the roots. Then I just massage it in with my hands and then make sure that isn't, there isn't any residue. It usually doesn't leave any. And then it just soaks up all the oil in my roots and then, then I'm ready for school. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let me know if you like it. If you did, please like up this video and subscribe. I also have a lot more videos to come, so please leave your requests down below if you want to see anything special. I'll see you guys later. Bye!